we're about to get slammed by a hurricane. This is real and coming at you now. Let's get started. Hello. Hi. I was just about to go through Ooh. the preparing for the hurricane. Preparing for the hurricane. We just have a little hurricane coming through, probably caught one. We went ahead, we're gonna take down our, our back piece here. And then uh, we went ahead and wrapped our main up here. We mount wrapped the boom. Our stack pack is really big. So I was a little concerned about the wind hitting it and breaking it. So we, we raised the boom and then with the topping lift, which lowered the stack pack and then wrapped it. It's wrapped pretty well. The main is actually secured down as well. And then I put a preventer up. We have till tomorrow, so we have a couple more things to do. But the good thing is we have plenty of scotch and beer. Hey, little man. Hi. What Hi. are you doing to prepare? I'm feeding the dog. Oh. She's asking for dinner, so I'm feeding her. Yeah. And then, um, I'm prepared. Good. I don't need to do much. I don't think, I don't think we're too worried about this one. Yeah, well, we should have been. This is gonna be bad. Welcome to Lazy Gecko Sailing. I'm Brittany, and this is Jeremiah. I came from the mud. We've been sailing the world Just and filming it all for you. Strong like a tree. Now come along with us on our next adventure. Oh, Make sure to click subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. Good morning, sweetie. Good morning. You've been having a lazy morning in here? Yes, I don't do that too often. Yeah, I decided to take the panels off. Oh, you did? I wasn't yeah. sure if you were going to. I, I woke up in the middle of the night thinking about it, and I was like, yeah, I'm taking them off. That's typical of you. Yeah. You usually wake up in the middle of the night thinking about something like that, and then you never go back to sleep. Yeah. So when are you getting out of bed? Never. We pulled into a marina. Just to, uh, Brittany had like a, a doctor visit, like a checkup, and this hurricane showed up and we figured we'd stay it was like we we're gonna leave today we we're like well we'll just stay it's a good floating dock marina it's got um brand new docks in the middle of long island sound so we decided to stay we tied the boat off we pulled a bunch of stuff off the boat we did solar panels were you up all night debating no once we did that storm hit us last night i was like yeah i'm just gonna take a bit they didn't do just too to well? Safe. They did fine, it's just the storm, the wind's really strong. And, um, that was nothing, so. I'm just gonna take them down and make it safe. Stick them inside. Happy that you're here to care for the boat, honey. Me too, She honey. loves you. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. How long till the storm hits us? Um, probably four hours. Four hours, all right. Or our Genoa, our Screecher. When these storms come, you have to determine how much gear to remove. After a little pondering, we decided this one rates almost everything off. Lots of work, but so worth it. Way better than replacing it. Our bedroom has quickly become the... the storage unit. The storage unit. That's what happens when you don't have a storage unit. This is our storage unit. For the storm, there's our solar panels, our head sail. Everything else is like in lazarets. This stuff's the stuff that's hard to stow. But with that extra room, it makes it easy. We wrapped the main, um, just basically pulled all kinds of things off the boat and got it ready for this windstorm. Windstorm is right. This thing is quickly coming up the coast and reports say it's on fire. Lines and more lines. We've been hit by a few storms in the past. Jeremiah's line placement is well thought out. He tries to make it like Calypso is suspended in a spider web. His goal is for the lines to have some play, but not allow the boat to touch the dock at all, not even the fenders, all without making the lines too loose or too tight. Now it was just a waiting game. What's going on? I'm trying to put the weights back. She's assuming I got them. I like fell backwards. Oh, 
Somebody put the stuff in the middle. Oh yeah. What about your water? Probably need to move that, huh? No, you're not. Take it to the Wind's starting to blow a little bit. I tried to get my workout in before it started, you know? Yeah, me too. Oh my goodness. Okay. It's like being back on the Lazy Gecko. It is. This is what it was exactly like on the Lazy Gecko. Like, oh, um, I need a part. Can you help me for an hour getting me down to get it? Sure, let's tear apart everything. It's looking like we're gonna go about 65 knots this storm it landed in like south carolina as a hurricane it's still a tropical storm but it i mean it went down to a tropical storm but it isn't really reducing as far as winds because of some weather pattern so we're expecting some high winds so we're going to relax here and ride it out on the boat i don't expect to have to do too much because it's, they're floating docks i don't think we have to readjust lines and stuff but we're here in case we have to what's the plan today guys we're gonna have to stay inside. Yeah, stay inside. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna day D R A N K. We're still in the spelling things out phase, which is good because we can still have quiet conversations even though we're on the same in the same room. Not for long. What's that one guys to? in the bow right now. You hear that? that? Look at that stay on the other boat, that uh, four stay. See it? That thing's going crazy. That's on a secret affair. No, it's not even close. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then there's two really nice but really big catamarans and the wind's just on their beam. Yeah, it's coming straight there. from the east right now. We're facing east and you see that the, it's coming, coming straight from the east. So we expect it, it's like 25 sustained pretty much. Kind of dipping every once in a while to 20. And then um, goes up to 35 about, but yeah, she's talking about these boats here. You can see, I mean, they're just getting pulled. Woo. We're moving around good about two in the slip. And all we can do is sit here and wait it out. You do what you can do, I mean. As long as we don't get hit by a tornado, we're up there, right? Yeah, and doing this for so long, we've dealt with quite a few storms and it's, they don't really, freak me out anymore you know we know how to prepare it's become easier to prepare yeah it used to take us like three days yeah. now it takes us a morning you know the worst part is putting it all back together but you do it you know so your stuff doesn't get ruined or your solar panels aren't flying through and you're saying goodbye to your brand new solar panels so you know you kind of, sometimes you mostly do it for no reason at all because usually it's okay but you never know you might be that one little time that it happens and the rain begins. They're expecting three inches of rain in this storm. Well, she's getting a wash now. On top of the Dodger, the Antarctic collects all the water and you can run a pipe from that right there. It's that drain going down right there. To your fresh water tanks if you wanted to. There's one on, on each side. And it actually collects a lot. <laughs> well, the boat's getting washed. Oh, uh, yeah, at least we're getting wet. <laughs> the sailboat down there where that guy in the green shirt is, is healing, dude. It just had a big old gust and it's like leaning over. There they go again a little bit. I'm worried about this 
black boot flipping. It's not gonna only flip, but I'm worried about it being tied off so crappy. It's not really tied off very well. And he just like left it there. Well, I went over and checked. I mean, it's got everything it could basically. They are healing over there. Yeah, they're they're in the end of the dock, getting that wind. You can see the surge coming in past the sailboat way down there, the monohull. That's coming in from the Long Island Sound, which is just off to port there. Right about now was when we realized this was pretty bad. The inlet is just to the right, the jetty is completely underwater, which is allowing the waves to enter from the sound, aiming right for us. Between gust, we started adjusting lines, adding them where needed, and so on. It's turning. It was uh, from the east, now it's coming, it's like going more south. This is crazy. There's boats jumping in the marina. Not jumping, but they're going pretty high up and down. Yeah, it might be jumping and healing over. Oh my gosh, I can see it. It's hard to show you it because, I don't know, it's video. Um, winds are crazy. This is a crazy little storm. They have hired help uh, at the marina. They brought in a company and they just keep going around, checking boats, checking boats, retying them off, jumping on and off boats. Wow, I'm really happy we took everything down. It was a big pain in the butt, but I'm happy we did it. doesn't have hardly anything on it the other fleet I put it on because the winds are coming from this way so that's another fleet at least the boats being pulled with so far we're staying in the middle of the slip which huge we're jumping three four feet up in the air man like the boat inside the slip so it felt like we were on passage again like a wow. gnarly passage yeah of this boat that you normally don't see coming out of the water because it's leaning. That boat launching, I thought it was going to land on the f***ing dock. 
Got me to the solar panels on. There's water holes in there still going. Oh yeah, they were, there was a guy on the ballot. He was just launching. I was like, holy <laughs> It's crazy to see a boat bounce like that in a marina. It wasn't long before Jeremiah decided to go help the workers that were trying to keep the boat safe. probably plummet into our boat. Oh my gosh. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys trying to get this boat. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. So the wind speed is now at 40 sustained and all these guys, seven guys, six on the dock, one on the boat, are trying to pull against this wind. It's insane. The powerboat next to me looks like it's going to fall on the dock. Wow. This is a good one. So one of the cleats snapped down at one of the other boats. Jeremiah just got back from pulling that monohull in and now he's assisting with one of uh, the broken cleats. Which leaves me to take care of our boat and Reese. <laughs> he's down here. Soon after, Jeremiah made Reese and I leave the boat. Things were getting worse. Gear was starting to break, so safety came first. That's okay. I didn't mind at this point. How was your ice cream? Good. What kind did you get? Vanilla. <laughs> Reese and I came inside. Uh, it was getting a little crazy out there with the weather. I believe the knots got, the winds got up to 65 knots. So we came inside. I got a drink a little stressful and he got some ice cream to enjoy and we're just kind of watching Jeremiah decided to stay out there with the boat helping out the other boats they were starting to break free on the far end of the dock so we didn't want a chain reaction or a domino effect to happen into Calypso because she's kind of tucked in and the storms coming right at her and pushing all the boats into her so we thought it was better to get us off it's safer and Jeremiah can hang out on the dock assisting other people and other boats and everybody's safe we have a nice view of it from here we have Reese and Brittany up in the clubhouse here there's a bar so I'm sure Brittany's gonna have a drink or two but um Winds are gusting probably up to about 65, man. Got us in the bar. Fleets are snapping. Well, if one guy got hit by a fleet, basically all we can do now is be there in case something breaks, you know? Like fleets and stuff like that. You gotta stay away because they one of them shot and hit the boat. It's like a bullet, a big one. But uh, hopefully the winds start calming down. And uh, a little lull right now, but still, still going. Yeah, this crap is crazy. We had docks rolling like a snake, cleats getting snapped, some dude stepping on the last remaining line so it won't break the cleat, and not one life jacket in sight, including us. Welcome to boat life, baby. Once things started to calm down, Jeremiah observed from up here, just waiting in case something needed attention. Got a huge gust, 
huge waves coming in, the dock's breaking apart, the fleet's are breaking off. Uh, the dock all the way down there is completely separated now with boats attached. Hopefully that dock come down this way, but I think that the winds are starting to slow down. I saw 65 before I left the boat. If anything happens with the fleet, I'll just run down there. Nobody really expected it to be this bad. But thankfully, we prepared for it to be this bad because, um, I don't know, we just got stupid, but ended up, that was smart. Hopefully the wind starts slowing down right now, but we're, we're between us. So far, so good. You're definitely calming down, that's good. I tried to keep it so the boat wouldn't touch the dock. Hold. I got any clean fleets to hold. You want to check for chafing, fleets, make sure your knots are not coming undone. There's a lot of shaking going on out here. I saw him tying this thing off and I was like, man, he's not doing a good job. I came over, I tried to adjust it, but he only has so much going on as far as lines and fenders. I didn't have any extra fenders or anything, but you can see the damage that was done. Um, and then they completely broke his lines. And uh, so I grabbed one of our old sheets and we tied it, it's like a halyard. So we tied it from that plea to his bow and over there because he needed forward, there's no other cleats. He needed forward holding and, and away from the dock. The back of his boat was just slamming the dock also, which is just, you know, it can break the dock too, you know, not only your boat. So, it's a bummer. He won't be happy about that. Brittany is at the clubhouse drinking. She texted me. John's watching from afar. The calm after the storm. They've been allowed to come back. Hey, dude. Ah. Watch those lines. How was it up there? Good. Good. We were sitting in the washroom and I ate some ice cream. Good. Hello. Hello. How'd you do? Great. I had some lunch and a drink. Nice. Watch that line. Get away from it. How'd you do? Good. Good. We, uh, everything went good. I mean, the boat's fine. You ever see her rocking and rolling in that slip, bro? I know. That was crazy to watch. Being up here, I was like, oh, every so often I see your bald head walking around. Nice. Um, all, a bunch of fleets broke, which should not happen. Their fleet broke, um, just snapped right off. Not good. Um, they're like a cast aluminum. They're like really light fleets. But, um, and then our uh, dock broke down there. See it? One line held that boat. What one? See the dock? Broken yeah. over there? Oh my gosh, dude. You can check it out. I have to walk down there and look. Right. The boat was pushing towards their boat, and the guy, like we were over here fighting and everything, that saved it from smashing that boat, which might have broke the dock and got our boat. But yeah, you can see up here the dock. What's the story? It broke off, and then this, that one line, it's like this, the, the hero of the day. That line held the boat and the dock from going that way. Wow. Yeah. Right off, right? Oh, yeah, right. This boat was just jumping. I was yeah, like. Dude, this was, it was up. We met them. They're really nice. They went to some families. They stopped by real quick to tie some lines. I'm glad they did. Um, but I don't really see the docks damaged. Their fenders popped. But I don't see any real damage 
to the boat, which is great. It, it popped, it broke a cleat off, and I, uh, I tied it to another one, but, uh, yeah, that was wild. That Calypso. one had this one. Calypso did well. We moved Calypso into yeah. the slip that we thought would do best. Yeah, we were on a, like a T dock, and I was like, hey, did you even get that spot over there? It was like a like a 26 foot slip, only one in the whole marina. The rest of them are really big. And they were like, sure. So we backed her in, tied her up like a spider web, and uh, she just bounced within the docks. Coming up on the Lazy Geckos. So we had a little hit and run. Paddleboard down to look at the damage. <laughs> well, today's the big day. I'm excited to get to the boat today and move on. I'm passing by Calypso, North Carolina. Calypso 2, Calypso 1. They look like they have little penises. Luck on your first cruising adventure. Ha, ah, thank you. Got an Uber to get some groceries and we saw this cute little bar to stop at. It's a lot warmer. You're doing a great job there, honey. Thank you. Oh, back door entrance. Well, I guess you can go to the bathroom. Are you ready for this? <laughs> no. <laughs> VHF antenna firmly mounted. It's all burned up in here. I guess we won't be leaving early. The problem is everything's so small I can't freaking read it. Oh, oh you're right God. in front of us, it's gone. I found something pretty sick. Don't take me back! You can't take me back! I'm turn north and probably put out at the head tail. It's nice and smooth. It's literally. Oh! oh, oh. Victory! Our radar's been giving us trouble. Have a good time with it. Yeah, if you did come back into New York, uh, put, your butt, put it right under your butt. What do you think? About what? Oh, you want to just make a shot? Probably. Oh my goodness! How cool is that? Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week.